Hello, everybody, and thank you very much for joining me for another Tales from the Crypt review. Today it is Season 2, Episode 11, Judy, You're Not Yourself Today, directed by Randa Hines and starring Carol Kane as Judy, Brian Kerwin as Donald, and Francis Bay as the witch. And as always, there will be episode spoilers. So this is a unique episode. It's kind of interesting. I would say it's more a comedy than a horror story, but there are certainly uh, elements of horror in this episode. And overall, I would say the episode's a bit uneven. Some parts of it work and some don't. It's a deliberately over-the-top episode, but the performances are fun. And overall, I would just say this is an average Tales from the Crypt episode. And I would say opinions will vary on it quite a bit. So we start with a couple, Judy and Donald, and they have kind of a bit uh, odd relationship, kind of an odd marriage. And uh, you can tell that Donald really likes uh, guns, which will be important throughout the episode. And um, all of a sudden there's a knock on the door and there's a man at the door that's against guns. This is kind of an amusing scene. At this point, Donald fake shoots Judy, who gets very upset about this. Then they argue about some other things like smoking, and uh, all this is done in an over-the-top way, but it's done deliberately so, and for the most part, I would say it works. So Donald leaves, and Judy's alone as we go to the next scene, and there's a cosmetics lady at the door. She comes by, and Judy's very interested. They chat, but surprisingly, Judy's not really interested in the cosmetics. She's interested in this uh, elderly lady's jewelry. And uh, one necklace in particular that stands out. So the lady lets her try it on, but this is not a good idea. Because when Judy puts this necklace on, we find out that uh, the lady, the cosmetics lady, is really a witch. And somehow this necklace grants her the power to uh, steal Judy's body. So uh, Donald comes home, and now the older uh, lady who was the witch says she's now Judy, his wife. And uh, she says her body was stolen, swapped, however you want to say it. In kind of a strange scene. So uh, Donald's not sure what to think, which I don't blame him. He locks this older lady up in the closet and goes to find his wife, who is now the witch. Uh, if this sounds a little bit confusing, uh, it kind of makes sense in the episode, even though these scenes kind of just jump around and are all over the place. So uh, at this point, he finds uh, his wife, who is actually the witch, um, and he tricks her. He tells her that this body is not well. It's not in good condition. So the witch changes things back up and Judy has her regular younger body back. Um, so at this point, this leaves the witch locked in the closet. Uh, so maybe she wasn't as smart as she thought, or maybe she is, as we'll find out later. So basically, Donald shoots her for some reason through the door, and he basically shoots up the whole house in another strange scene. Uh, this really seems to excite him, and it also turns Judy on. And I did think that Carol Kane's expressions in this scene were uh, pretty funny, one of the better parts of the episode. So at this point, they decide to bury the witch in their house. Uh, probably not a good idea. These aren't the smartest characters ever on Tales from the Crypt. But uh, Judy, for some reason, still likes this necklace. Probably would have been a good idea to just destroy this necklace or at least give it away or something, not keep it, keep it locked up in the house. But then we couldn't get a conclusion to the episode. So we jump ahead three months in time. And uh, Judy is still attracted to this necklace. She's still thinking about it, it seems like. So uh, we see this kind of interesting scene where she comes into uh, her bedroom and we're not sure if she's taken the necklace or not. She uses the excuse that she's just cold. So uh, Donald goes downstairs and he finds out that the witch's body is still alive. So now comes the kind of confusing part. We don't know if Judy uh, has used the necklace again. We don't know which body is Judy and which one is actually the witch. So Donald's confused. He gives them a test, and when he figures out that the younger uh, woman is the witch, he basically shoots her, but the bodies get swapped yet again. So it turns out that the witch gets away in her original elderly body, and uh, Judy is actually a goner in the real body because she was shot. I hope this makes sense to all of you. So at this point, Donald is by himself alone, and he is just upset. So, like I said, kind of a strange ending to a unique episode. To me, this episode's kind of up and down. There's some really good moments, a few moments that don't really work. Uh, the over-the-top nature of the episode mostly works, although, like I said, I do feel it's a bit uneven. But ultimately, Judy, You're Not Yourself today it is kind of, in some ways, an episode I recommend because it's very different, and I give it a 2.5 out of 5. So I would say this is an average episode, but definitely worth a watch for fans of the show as I have a pin, uh, I have the 
feeling that uh, some will like it more than others. So a two and a half out of five for Judy, you're not yourself today. And as always, thank you very much for watching.